Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about evaluating limits. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this limit right here. The limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over negative 4 plus x plus 1 fourth all over x. And we're going to evaluate this limit. One thing we know right off the bat, 0 and for x causes some issues. We cannot divide by 0. So I'm going to try to rearrange, combine these fractions, and maybe we can do something that simplifies and crosses out this x down here. So to do that, I'm going to multiply this part here by a 4 over 4, and the second fraction to find a common denominator, an x minus 4 over itself. Notice, uh, I'll put parentheses here, negative 4 plus x is the same as x minus 4. So let's take that limit, move the limit here, as x approaches 0. And on the numerator, we have a 4 plus 1 times x minus 4, which is an x minus 4. And the denominator is the 4 times an x minus 4. And that's all over that good old x here. Now, this is pretty nice. These 4s cancel, right? So what do we have? Let's rewrite it here. We have the limit as x approaches 0 of that numerator x over a 4 x minus 4 and that's divided by x and I'm going to write that like this divided by x makes it a little easier to see well we keep taking that limit as x approaches 0 of x over 4 times an x minus 4 and instead of dividing by x let's multiply, multiply by 1 over x Remember, same thing. This makes it easier to see that these x's cancel. So we're now left with the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over 4 times a x minus 4. Well, at this point, our rational function only doesn't exist when, well, zero, when the denominator is equal to 0. And 0 goes in, we're good. So now we can take that limit. We plug 0 in for x. We have 1 over 4 times 0 minus 4. Well, 0 minus 4 is a negative 4, so we have 4 times a negative 4. And 4 times a negative 4 is a negative 16. So we have 1 over a, uh, we'll split a negative over here, a negative 1 16th, and that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.